is Gregory Connors, Jason. I'm not 100% sure. In this video, I'm going to go over all available information that we have about Gregory Connors to figure out if he actually is Jason. I'm going to explain reasons to believe he is and also reasons why he may not be. But before we get into this video, you know what to do. Tap that subscribe button. Massively appreciated. Love you all. So I've got to say, I'm pretty jaded by all of these actor claims and everything like that. I get maybe about 20 to 30 messages per day with people saying that they know who the actors are. And honestly, in my DMs, I've probably had about 300 or 400 speculative guesses at different people for who the actors are. So I'm a little bit jaded when it comes to this sort of stuff. I'm a bit like, ah, I'm a bit taken back by it all. And of course, every week there is a new YouTube video that comes out saying Jason actor confirmed or Lucia confirmed or something like that. Now with Lucia, it's slightly different. Manny Al Paris, who we believe is the person that plays Lucia, looks pretty much a spitting image of Lucia. Her voice sounds exactly the same. We have a lot of dialogue to go off. We have the information from the leaks. Location wise, she's been put in the same time and place as when Rockstar would need her for the voice recordings and for the motion capture. And she's even done interviews where she said that she's working on a big release. She can't talk about it because of NDAs and stuff. We've seen all of this. We have as close as we'll get to confirmation without it coming from Rockstar or Manny herself. Now with Jason, we've had not much to go off. Of course, we've had all of the rumors about Brian Zampella and all of this stuff over the past year, at least. It's been a bit of a nightmare. But the rumor that came out about 24 hours ago was that Gregory Connors, who is a New York actor, is supposed to be Jason. Now, reasons for thinking it could be Jason. Let's just get those out of the way first. He lives and works in New York. Now, Rockstar do a lot of their mocap work, their voice capturing work, all of this stuff, all in New York. So that does make sense. Also, he's a relatively unknown actor, but yet he still has an impressive resume on the stuff he has worked on. This is like gold for Rockstar. Rockstar like people that are great actors that just haven't quite been discovered by the industry yet. That's what they go for. And the next big clue we had was that his actor resume had that he was a lead role in a Rockstar Games game set to be released in 2025. Now, of course, being a lead actor is very important. Being a lead actor for Rockstar Games is very important. Being a lead actor for Rockstar Games in a game that comes out in 2025, very important. But this is where we're going to start slowing things down, boys. This is where you all need to stop, stop injecting that copium and maybe take a little step back. There's two key words in all of this his resume. We have no proof that it's actually his CV. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is I've been sent over the past six months so many messages from people saying this person updated their CV and they'll send me a Word document or a document from a website that has been edited or altered or even created by fans. We have no solid evidence that this is actually Greg O'Connor's actual resume, an actual CV that he's written or his management have written himself. This is the very stark difference between real or fake. Now, some people are saying that when the news broke out, it was removed from the CV. Therefore, it means it's real, but it, it, that's not what it means at all. Now, I'm not saying that this is real or fake. What I'm saying is, is that you need to look at it objectively from both sides. It does sound a little bit like Jason, especially from what we saw from the leaks. No, there's definitely a resemblance there. I saw you with him. Who? Saw me with who? Kobe. However, I do think that Gregory Connors has definitely more of a New York twang. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. But then we need to talk about the elephant in the room. He doesn't look anything like Jason. Different eyebrow structure, different facial structure, different nose. Of course, the facial hair kind of throws us off a little bit, so it's really hard to tell. Some of the facial details are very different. Now, Rockstar don't always do a one-to-one -one replica of the actor. Of course not. But they usually take a lot of different cues from the actual actor themselves to make them look a bit similar. In this instance, I can't see that at all. And of course, his actor profile has now actually been removed from actorsaccess.com. On this website, you can see many other actors that you can view their profiles and see what they get up to. But in this instance, Gregory Connors has now disappeared. Now, whether that's Gregory Connor or his manager that has removed them, we don't know. But on the same note, to get a resume on this website, you just have to submit one. It's not too difficult. The next thing we need to talk about is his acting career. So we know most of the capture work would have been done between 2018 and 2022. In this period, he starred in a movie and he also starred in another series as well. Now, what that actually means, we don't really know. We're not too sure how strict Rockstar are with their actors doing other jobs on the side. I think legally they can't stop them from doing other work, but it is worth considering here. Usually when actors are working on their production for games like Grand Theft Auto, they usually just stick to doing that for a set period of time. This doesn't confirm anything either way, but it is worth noting that he was indeed working other roles in this time period. But once again, we have no official bona fide proof that Gregory Connors is the person that made this CV. And over the past year in particular, we've seen so many CVs being created for actor roles and then edited like a week or two later. I think there's three in the past year 
where CVs have come to light, news articles have covered it, and then the CV's been changed and it was just someone trying to capitalize on a little bit of publicity or it was just someone trolling. Something very similar to this is when we had that Rockstar Games developer leak on Twitter. Well, it was actually just a random person that just changed the name of their account to be the same name as a Rockstar Games employee. And of course, everyone reported it as a Rockstar Games employee causing the leak when it wasn't. This is why we've got to be really careful about how we use words like confirmed, 100%, definitely, all of this. Like, it's not confirmed until Rockstar say so. Of course, we can speculate in the meantime. There's nothing really wrong with that as long as we're all on the same page that it's not 100% fact. Now, the final thing I want to say is that if this is, by some chance, Jason, this could also just be Rockstar trying a little marketing stunt. I've seen a lot of things over the past year in particular of people saying that like the 2022 leaks were a Rockstar Games marketing stunt and all of this. It definitely wasn't. I mean, a kid ended up in a mental institution off the back of it. It wouldn't go that far for a bit of marketing and PR. <laughs> However, stuff like this where like they may have told Gregory Connors to not have his uh, resume out there and they could say to him, you know, actually put it on your resume. We'll let people find it. We'll let people speculate because at the end of the day, this sort of stuff is good marketing. It's moreover just a bit of fun for the community. I mean, unless people get weird about it and start creating fake accounts and all of this, which probably will happen. But the best part about the internet, which is that everyone can use it, is also the worst part about the internet, which is that everyone does use it. <laughs> so potentially this could be a marketing stunt, but at the end of the day, we just don't know. So to conclude this video, we don't really know either way. There's a lot of reasons to believe it could be him, and also, of course, a lot of reasons to believe that it isn't him. We've just got to wait and see how this plays out, whether we get anything from the horse's mouth, but I don't think we're going to be hearing anything from Gregory Connors or whoever the real Jason is. If he is the real Jason, if he's not the real Jason, you get the idea. I don't think we'll be hearing anything for a long time long time for example with manny perez that was months ago that we found out that she was lucia and since then all she's done is just turned off all her social media comments tags and all of that and just kept quiet and that's probably what we'd see from gregory connor's too but i'm really keen to hear what your thoughts on this so drop a comment down below if you did enjoy today's video please consider liking and subscribing or even becoming a channel member i'll see you all in the next one